Uh, hello there, and welcome back to this Projects and Enterprise Java course. So today we're going to be continuing our social network application. And last time where we left off, we actually had our basic, um, you know, skeleton created. Today we're going to be actually configuring our very first struts action. And uh, we'll see what that is in a second, though. Um, if, if, if you don't already have some experience with the struts framework, then you probably don't know exactly what I'm talking about when I say struts action. But if you do, then you, you have a very good idea, since that's pretty much a very large part of the struts framework. But yeah, anyway, let's go and actually configure it. So first of all, let's create a package here. Or configure a package. Uh, let's put the name as uh, account system, since this is going to be the package that's going to um, take care of our account system. And it's going to extend the struts default package. All right, there we go. Let's add an action here. The name is just going to be login. And the class. Um, let's put the class. We, haven't, we don't actually have this class created yet. But what we're going to do is we're going to do com uh, idionics social network dot um, let's do login action all right there we go and let's just put a uh, result name equals success um, yeah and then here let's just add in slash login success.jsp all right there we go uh what seems to be the error here uh yeah no we have the uh, matching and tag action uh okay well this is odd um if for some reason it's actually giving giving us an error um though it, there doesn't seem to actually be an error Okay, well, well, that's real odd. Let me actually go ahead and restart Eclipse. Probably this is a, just some kind of bug. Okay, well, after restarting, I figured it didn't work, and um, I just realized what a doofus I was. Um, I actually put a uh, end tag here in result, so I didn't actually see that it was already ended, and we tried to end it again. So just remove that, and uh, the error goes what nope oh yeah there we go <laughs> I, I thought it was staying i was like what 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 could be there now so yeah i just had a problem there there we go okay so now that we got this done um so essentially now what's going to happen is um whenever we use um slash login dot action it's actually going to take us to this um action action that we you know created here and it's actually going to execute this class that we have here, but we don't actually have it created yet, so let's go ahead and do that now. So under social network, let's go to Java resources, um, SRC main Java, and here let's do, um, yeah, um, here. Let's actually actually uh, change this um, change this package here. Let's do comedy on social network um, action dot login action. There we go. Um, and then here, let's do new package, and let's add a uh, dot action here. There we go. Uh, while we're on that note, let's actually uh, make this lowercase since package names are usually lowercase, and let's change this as well. So let's refactor, rename. Let's make social network lowercase dot social network there we go let's continue okay what um all right well a resource exists okay so it's not letting us actually change that let's just delete the package okay oh my god this is taking so long this is taking so long can I, did, does it not automatically delete this all right there we go and now let's do new package com eduonics um uh, social network remember uh, make the java coding convention right the first time social network dot um 
action. There we go. All right, and now we can finally do new class and do login action. All right, there we go. So right now we're actually just going to have a public uh, string execute method here. The way stress works here, it's 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 so amazing. You can just do whatever you want. Just make make it an execute, and you know you don't have to extend anything. You don't have to add any annotations. Just create a method named execute and return a string, and you're good to go. Um, and let's return success. All right, and now let's do system dot out dot print to len. And let's just do um, we are executing login action. All right, there we go. And now let's go and actually create a view as well. So under web content, let's do new JSP file. And we're going to call it login success.jsp. All right, there we go. Um, so let's do, let's close some of these tabs here. And now in the .xml file, we have a, yeah, login success.jsp. There we go. Um, and now in login.jsp, let's just do um, you have logged in for now. We're going to change that later on. All right, there we go. So now that we have that, let's go and actually run this on server. This should, in theory, work. Um, Project Fashion Java version 9 is not supported. Okay. That's great. So it's okay. So it can't run since the version nine is not supported. That's that's great. That's great. No, um, project fast. It's Java. All right. I guess I could just take it down to one point eight. Since project nine is not supported with Tomcat nine, apparently. So, yeah. Okay. Well, that makes sense. So Java nine isn't supported with Tomcat nine. I thought I thought I thought it already already was. Maybe I probably have an old version of Tomcat. But anyway, let's just um. Um, right here with the uh, project facets, just take it down to 1.8 and then also make it, let me just, let me, actually, let me actually show you exactly what I did, explain what I did so that you don't just look at it like one in the world did you do. So I took uh, the version of Java down to 1.8 from 9 and then also in run times, I included Apache Tomcat version 9.0 9 in, in run time so that it actually, you know, so that it actually deploys the server. So now that we've done that, we can go ahead and actually run this on server finally. So let's do run as, run on server. All right, there we go, finish. Okay, let's give it a second to start up here. All right, we got, a, we got an error what child container failed. Uh, uh, child container filter name. Okay, what what did we do wrong? We did something wrong. Okay, there we go. So, <sighs> struts to capital, not not supposed to be capital. There we go. See, I, I put a lot of these doofus moves. <laughs> so, that's usually usually when there's okay, oh well, we got another error. Struts prepare and execute filter. Okay, so we can't find the struts prepare and execute filter. That's okay. So we're getting this probably because um, our server doesn't actually push our. Yep. Okay. So right now when we're running the server, it can't actually find this let me let me close this it can't actually find this class since because we do have it in our libraries we have it under maven dependencies and the way our project is, is configured currently is that um, our maven dependencies aren't uploaded sort of no well not uploaded just included in the server dependencies so they're two separate things right now and so when we run our server it can't actually find it so it's 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 in the maven dependencies but the maven dependencies aren't in the server dependencies so it can't find this class. So to fix this, we just have to go to properties, deployment assembly. We're going to add a deployment assembly, and then we're going to do Java build path entries and Maven dependencies. And let's finish up here, apply and close. And there we go. So it may so seem, um, by the way, it may seem like 
uh, I'm showing you a, a ton of a lot of configuration and you know why am I showing this I should show you the actual development of the application not the configuration but um, when I was back when I was learning the struts framework um, uh, I, I, I was doing a lot of it just you know based on books and stuff since you know colleges don't really teach frameworks uh, my college taught me I know I know how to generate a Huffman tree but I don't know it, it, it didn't actually teach me um, you know frameworks anyway um, essentially uh, what essentially um, by showing you all this configuration I'm showing you common pitfalls and what a lot of people have trouble with when they're actually getting started with a framework is actually just getting it up and running since they're getting so many errors so here I'm just essentially showing you these errors and how to fix them and actually explaining them to you so that you actually understand what the problem is so later on you don't actually experience it so that's why I'm having it there all right there we go so let's um run server finish and now we should actually get it running without any errors unless we actually get a hibernate error since we might get a hibernate error when we might not though we'll see all right there we go so we didn't get a hibernate error that's always nice to see um all right <laughs> so now let's go ahead and actually um localhost 8080 social network let's do login dot action and there we go so we are okay so we a we are executing login action and it returns us this you have logged in jsp file so let's take a look at, at exactly what's happening so it all starts with our web.xml file in which we specified that we essentially pass all of our incoming requests from java and is from java essentially taking care of them um or actually that no, was from from tomcat taking care of them passing them to the correct uh, uh, servlet. Essentially, here we're just saying that we'll just pass the request on to struts, in this case, this class, and that's just struts, which will take care of it. Then, in struts, we have the struts.xml file. Struts so takes us a look at this XML file. Um, yeah, and then configures itself so that whenever, it, if the action name is login.action, then we're going to execute this class here. So it looks for this class, it creates it, and then gives us this class right here, where it uh, runs the execute method. Now, you may be wondering why the execute method. Well, that's just because that's the way struts work. So uh, by default, it will actually always execute the execute method inside a action class. So now that we have this execute method, it actually prints we A, executing login action. Let me just change this to R. There we go. Um, so that's what it's doing right here. And then it returns success here. Um, that goes back to the struts.xml file. Um, since the result name equals success, it, re it gives us back this login success.jsp file, which we added here. There we go. And then that's um, then sent back to the user. And that's what we actually show in the browser here. Um, you have logged in. There we go. So that is essentially what is going on there. All right, so there we go. So that is it for this lesson. Um, so we've really taken a look at basic strut actions and how they work. Um, next time we're going to be taking a look at you know actually getting into our application, start um, you know changing our actions to actually suit uh, our application. Now before we go, we're going to do one last thing. We're going to create a new JSP file here. Okay, and for this JSP file, we're just going to use um, for the file name. We're going to do index.j. JSP, and this is actually going to be um, right here in web.xml. We have this uh, welcome file list index.jsp, and this just means that whenever we um, don't type an extension to our URL, so just do localhost 8080 slash social network, it's actually going to automatically take us to this index.jsp file. Um, so here, let's just add, um, instead of the title here, let's do uh, welcome to our social network there we go so now we'll just see the title welcome to our social network let's go and actually run the server now um never actually saw me stop it but let me just demonstrate this really quickly just so you can see exactly how this works so right now if i just do localhost 8080 social network let's give it a second to start up here there we go um it now takes us you see here we uh, uh, welcome to our social network so it's it's up there, so you, you can't see it right now since, um, you know, it actually is blocked, but it, it is up there. So it actually did take us to this index.jsb file, and later we're actually going to have a field here where you're going to enter username and password. 
that's how that's going to work. All right, so there we go. So now that we've done that, um, next time we're going to take a look. As I said, we're just going to be actually creating actions that are going to utilize, um, utilize, you know, you know, actually going to create the social network actions. Um, and so that should be all be pretty fun. Anyway, I'll stop rambling on. I'll see you next time. Till soon. We'll be